Hi, I'm Kumar Sangakara and you're watching Off The Mark Cricket. Hello everyone and welcome to our special Off The Mark Channel 9 live coverage of the second one day international here between Australia and Sri Lanka. It's a lovely sunny day, a lovely sunny day here in Melbourne so we should be in for an exciting game of cricket. However, before we get to the all important coin toss, I've got Tony Gregg who's down on the ground to give us the latest on the pitch report. So um, Tony, Tony, can you hear me mate? Tony? Yeah, I can hear you, I can hear you. There you are Tony. Uh, Tony. Um, how's the pitch looking, mate? Has uh, last night's uh, heavy rain affected at all? Well, no, not at all. This pitch is hard and it's flat and it's an absolute betting paradise. It's an absolutely beautiful pitch, but for some strange reasons, it's actually a bit of mosquito tape here, which may cause a bit of deviation for the ball off the pitch. But other than that, it's hard, it's flat, and there's absolutely no grass on the wicket whatsoever. It's almost like the stage of the drum theatre, to be honest. If I take my key here, actually, and do my normal test, I'm actually going to test how hard the pitch is, and uh, the key is useless. The pitch is hard, it's flat. Back to you, Dummy. That sounds pretty good to me. Now back to you, Mark Nicholas, for the coin toss. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am Mark Nicholas and welcome to today's coverage of the second one day up between Australia and Sri Lanka. You might know me as one of the premier sportcasters of the modern era. Over the years, my talent has seen me deal with a strange array of player names, ranging from Venka to Pethi Raju, to Mutai Muralitharan, to Shane Warne. Besides that, I've got the two captains alongside me, the Australian captain, Michael Clark, and the Sri Lankan captain, Mahela Jaya Wardena. Now, <laughs> Mahela will go. Uh, hits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Australia have won the toss, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, Michael. What are you going to do? Uh, yeah, Mark, look, this uh, fish looked absolutely beautiful. Not a single black of rice, so uh, you know, I, reckon, uh, I reckon we'll have that first today, get some runs on the board, and uh, put some pressure on the Sri Lankans. Now, any changes for your team today? Uh, yeah, Mark, with a couple of changes. Unfortunately, uh, Usman Kawhi is not playing today, he's working with the swine flu. Uh, so, we've got, so we've got Ashton Agar coming in. Uh, we've also got some other changes. We've got Baz coming for Shazza, because Shazza's brother Gazza is out with alcohol poisoning. Uh, we've got Dingo coming in for Bingo. But Wayne and Shane, and what I'm sitting at is that uh, he hasn't done his homework. Right, so no Wisman Kawaja, no Watson, Bazaar and no Shazza, Wayne and Shane, and I forgot the last one, what was that? Uh, dingo, mate. Right, Dingo, well, thank you for that. Thank you, Michael, all the best. Now I've got the issue making captain, Mahela Jaya Wardina. Now, Mahela, I'm Mark Nicholas. And um, are you disappointed to have lost the toss? Yeah, you know, I'm a bit disappointed, actually. I mean, you know, <laughs> I would like to be batting on this wicket as well, it was beautiful, but uh, we are bowling now, so we have to bowl in the right areas and keep Australia a respectable total, yeah. Now your team struggled to get off the mark in the Adelaide game. How many, how many changes have you made and what changes have you made to your team today? Yeah, well, you know, it's difficult to get off the mark in Adelaide, you know, you can't determine that one. So, we are now, you know, a couple of changes. Unfortunately, Lasith is not playing, he has a hamstring injury. And uh, we've got a new young batsman, the side, new young batsman, but his name is too long to say here. It make my name sound like the one syllable. So, uh, he's, he's playing and also Nuan Pulisaitra is back in the side as well. Yeah. Right, so, what can we call this young fella up in the commentary box? Uh, you can call him Alfred. 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 Yeah, Alfred. Yeah. Al Fred. Yeah, Al Fred. <laughs> right, well, thank you, Mahela. All the best. That's the news out here, ladies and gentlemen. Australia have won the toss in the bat first in the second one day international. Before I go, I'm Mark Nicholas, and let's have a great game today. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're 20 overs into the game now, and I must say, Australia are off to a fantastic start. 120 runs on the board, 20 overs in, six runs and over. They are batting like a dream at the moment, and they're making the Sri Lankans look like lion cubs. Now, if we just, uh, you know, I've got, I've got a special all-star commentary lineup with me today. I've got a lot of special commentators. I've got Richie Benner from Australia. I've got David Lloyd from England. I've got Michael Holding from Jamaica in the West Indies. 
And my personal favourite, the great Sachin Tendulkar. Now, um, you know, Sachin, Sachin's one of the great mates actually. He's, uh, he's, he's right here now actually. Oh, Sachin. Sachin, it's uh, great to see you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. First of all... <laughs> First of all, uh, congratulations on a marvellous career. Thank you. It's about bloody time you retired. Well, uh, actually, I have played 200 tests. I don't know how many you have played. <laughs> I well, think that I am well equipped to say what I want to say. Right, right. Now, now Sachin, you've been watching this game from the very beginning. What are your thoughts? Well, uh, actually, um, as I've played 200 tests, I've seen a lot of things and I quite frankly think that uh, Nuan Kulasekar's bowling is the slowest bowling I've ever seen in my life. My daughter could bowl faster than him and uh, <laughs> quite frankly, Shane Watson is batting beautifully. Shane Watson? Batting beautifully? Yeah. He's not even playing today. Oh, and I don't know, yeah, all these white fellows look the same to me. <laughs> I, want to I let my bat do the talking. I have played 200 tests and it is my bat that has won the games for India. But enough about me. I want to pass it on to a good friend of mine. He's a fast bowler from the West Indies and uh, actually we have gone through a lot of stuff together. But before I go on, I just want to thank Parley G and Thumbs Up Soda for sponsoring my trip out here. But uh, Michael, what do you think is going on? Can I just say one thing and one thing only? <laughs> The Australians are batting beautifully. They're scoring the runs. They're making it look so easy. And the Sri Lankans look so easy right now. They look like the little mama's boys. <laughs> they're batting, they're batting well. And Jawadina, Jawadina, and the others, the Sri Lankans are looking very, very stressful right now, you know. You know, in, in Jamaica, in the Caribbean, in the West Indies, we say you got to have ball and the wicket. And you know, that's, that's the Sri Lankans are doing that. You know, it's a terrible thing, terrible thing, you know. But before I keep going, before I keep going, I got my good friend David Lloyd from England. David Lloyd, Bombal, Bumble, 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 Bumble. Hello. <laughs> Bumble, you've been watching this game from the very beginning. What do you think is going on? Look, I'll be completely honest, I have not been watching this game one bit. I mean, how can you watch the game when the crowd is so brilliant and the crowd is so attractive? I mean, look at her. Is she Pakistani? I'd fix a match with her. <laughs> Bombal, bombal, bombal. Look, me thinking, me thinking, you know, you got to stop focusing on those things and you got to focus on commentating the game. You sound like a little boy with a too much red cord. Yeah, get yourself the game, man. How can you focus? How, how? How? Tell me how you can focus on the cricket. I mean, look at her. Was her father killed Chris because she's quite the keeper? <laughs> You know, we can't do this, we can't do this, you know. I'm heading back to the Caribbean, right? I can't do every this. Time, every time I try to have a bit of fun, you go and ruin it. I'm, I've had enough of you, Michael. Get out of here. Let's have someone in here who can actually commentate. He's been commentating for a long time. My good friend Richie. Me and Richie have been commentating for 35 years. Well, actually, I've been commentating 35 years. He's been doing it for about 150. <laughs> but besides that, me and my good friend Richie. Richie is an excellent commentator and he's been there from the beginning. So please, Richie, come on down. Richie, come on Richie, you're old, I can understand you're old, but you got to pick up the pace, we've only got set, a set amount of time here, Richie, come on, come on down Richie, Richie, now what I was saying before to Michael, which he simply didn't understand, was that this crowd was so attractive, I mean look up there, is, is her last name Sangakara, her beauty has to be stomped. You know David, when you get to my age, you get a bit too old for those funny games, I suggest you focus on commentating the match. Just you focus and get back in your coffin. <laughs> you know, David, they often say that shit cricketers make good commentators. <laughs> but in your case, shit cricketers make shit commentators. <laughs> How did you get the job then, you daft twit? I've been commentating for over 155 years. <laughs> Yes, you've been commentating for a long time, but for once, would you please not let your old mind wander and focus on the game, okay? Right. Sri Lanka, six runs to win. Australia, two balls to ball. Don't you love cricket? It's oh, a great sport. It's just sort of marvellous performance by Sri Lanka. You know, this takes me back to 1957. Oh, when, I, when I played with Bobby Simpson at Old Trafford, and my boy, it was a beautiful summer Would you day. shut up, Richie? No one cares about your daft daydreams. Right. Focus on the game, okay? Look at Bradley's field. He's got a short fine leg, a deep fine leg, a long leg, a leg go What? That's quite a lot of legs you have there. One would suggest you only have two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Your sense of humour is atrocious. That is disgraceful. Focus 
on the game, okay? Bradley's coming in. He's charging in. This is the final ball. He's running in. Oh dear, he's tripped. He's let the ball go. It's short. It's wide. And oh, what a strut. Richie, it's over here, you idiot. Richie, Richie, here. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the post-match presentation. In case you haven't noticed, I'm Mark Nicholas. And what a game we've had for you here today. Australia falling just short at the final margin. Sri Lanka getting up. I've got the victorious captain alongside me, Mahela Jaya Wardina. Now, Mahela, you must be absolutely thrilled with that victory. Yeah, look, I'm just proud of the boys today. They uh, played really well, you know. I think uh, Kula Sekhra got the five wickets and uh, Alpha <laughs> <laughs> scored a lot of runs. And uh, I think I'm very proud of the boys. And hopefully we can win the game in Brisbane, yeah. Congratulations, all the best. Now I've got the Australian captain, Michael Clark. Commiserations, disappointment, misery, depression. I could, yes, I could go on with the thesaurus forever, but anyway, disappointing. Yeah, Mark, look, you know, disappointed from some boys tonight. You know, full credit to Sri Lanka. Uh, they played really well, you know. We've got a lot of mistakes to work. We've made a lot of mistakes tonight. You know, uh, Baza wasn't bowling properly. Gaza wasn't taking wickets. And Dingo, Dingo is too busy stealing babies. <laughs> Instead of stealing run out, so we've got a lot of things to work on for Brisbane Mark. Disappointing, but all the best. Now to finish up, we've got our commercially and personally <coughs> prestigious sponsored Man of the Match Award. This is the Commonwealth Bank Series, Bet365, Tom Waterhouse Betting, Farmers Union Ice Coffee, Carlton Draft, Midstrength, Victoria Bitter, Carbon Kamal, DLF Maximum, Kingfisher City Moment of Success, Man of the Match Award. Personally sponsored by Indra Neil Yadgill. Thank you, and that, that the Man of the Match today will be the, uh, none other than the Sri Lankan fast bowler, Nguyen Kulusekara. Nguyen, well done today. Five wickets, you must be thrilled. Yeah, oh, it's, it's very excellent. It's a good, well, good bowling, good one, actually. It's good. <laughs> I, I bowling, good one. I bowl, good one, and it's, I get the ball to swing, swing, we say that we up, down, side. <laughs> get the clock is off the mark but no it's a duck so <laughs> I ball that one but all this is a team effort team effort yeah congratulations but if we just move off cricket for just one second we understand that your lovely wife has given birth to a beautiful baby boy are you gonna name him Mark Nicholas uh, uh, I'm joking I'm joking you must be thrilled with that effort uh, yeah it's a team effort <laughs> I, I play my natural game and, and, and I think you know Sangha and Mahila provide the direction but uh, you know you have to come to the practice so you have to practice 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 otherwise it's not a successful one and uh, I am very proud boys you know fantastic job and, and it's very excellent it's really well good you see? well what can you say? I think we've stumbled upon some strange group activities of the Sri Lankan cricket team. Uh, you can go, Nguyen. You're, you're done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nguyen. That's all we've got time for, ladies and gentlemen. Australia and Sri Lanka. What a game. You've been watching another presentation from Nine's Wider Sports. Thank you, guys. Thank you.